Right then guys, so I've taken Tom's system out now. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna show you how good the hairlines do look, if I can get my hand in the right position. So as you can see, it's a real natural looking hairline on that front edge. So obviously this lace has got to be cut off, so I'm gonna do that. It's very difficult for me to show you because obviously I've got no one helping me film and uh, I don't wanna cut my fingers off, so I need to use two hands. So I'm gonna cut the lace off this, then we're gonna go back in and get it all lined up and ready to go. Right, so I've cut the lace off. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna move the top a bit forward because the chair's moved and I'm gonna be in the other room in a minute, carry on. <laughs> Just gonna place it on. Make sure we get it in roughly the right place. Like that. We get the eyeliner. And then basically, we're gonna be aiming for Roughly four fingers. Raise your eyebrows for me. So that's about right for me. How does that feel for you? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is because we're going to do a bit of glue today, I'm just going to do loads of little dots or lines, whichever one you feel more comfortable with when you're doing it at home. Feel free. And the reason we do these is so that if you are going to do glue, you don't go below them. If you go below them, you're in the wrong place and you're going to end up with like these lines on your head that you can't get off. Trust me, I don't like the hard way. And it's incredibly sticky. Yes. <laughs> so, just like that. And then all I'm going to do, just because it's a first fit in, I'm just going to do a couple of tiny little dots just underneath. The only reason I do these is because when I roll the system, because the hair is quite long, sometimes I can't quite see where the line is properly. And I know if those dots are touching, I'm going in the right position. And then basically, I'm just going to double check the system template because what tends to happen is the templates are rigid, the systems aren't. So we may have to take a tiniest bit more hair out, but it's just a common practice, really. Right, so we're going to do that. We're going to go and tape it up, and we'll be back getting ready to attach. So as you can see, I've started taping it up. Now I've got someone else holding the camera, even easier. So what we're using is Ultra Hold. We're going to go all the way around. I'm going to go up until about here. I'm going to go across here, because he doesn't want too much glue. We're just going to use like an inch or so at the front, and then we'll be attaching it. Right then, so I'm going to use a new glue because uh, the old one's a bit gloopy. So what I'm going to do, just going to do a little bit, probably just an inch or two, just around this front. So all I'm going to do is once it starts to come in, there we go. Little blobs all the way around. See if I can get a bit closer. Draw that from the top. There you go, much better. See, working as a team now. So what we're going to do is going to spread it around a little bit. And what I always make sure we do is when we're painting it on, we always make sure we come away from the hairline because what you don't want to do is leave like big blobs of glue on the hairline because they will dry a little bit, a little bit gunky. So if you don't get it right, obviously. So what you do is you push it backwards. Only reason being, if you do get any blobs back here, not so much of an issue. Um, obviously, we're going to do a couple of layers. Right, so I'm going to let this dry, then we're going to do another layer, and then we're going to get it stuck down. Right then, so I've taped, it, taped up the system, done the glue, it's nice and dry, you can see it's gone all clear. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to roll it back on, make sure we get it in the right place, because I don't want to redo it. <laughs> and what I'm going to do, get it just behind those dots. Stop rolling it down, keep in tension, make sure those dots at the back match. Get that band with the tape down. Bit of pressure. What I always do is once I've got it on like this, although it looks ridiculous, is to check that hairline just to make sure we're right in the area, which we are. And then what I'm going to do, roll this back, keeping all the tension on the edges. Because you don't want to, if you don't keep the tension on the edges, you're going to end up with like bumps and lumps. It's not necessarily a bad thing, it's not like going to fall off because of it, but it can affect your bond to the extent where you might, if you usually get two weeks, you might only get a week and a bit. Um, but it's not at the end of the world if you get it slightly wrong. Although it is better to get it right. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to lift this fringe up and make sure we get all that hair line, which is just a tiny bit of lace that you can see. I'm just going to push it down, make sure it's all in that glue. All the way round. Yeah. 
and then I'm going to work these dots off and then we're going to start cutting it. Right, so as you can see, it's all stuck down now, so I'm just going to show you how good the hairline looks. As you can see, I'll naturally look when we're... Uh, So now I've got to cut it. It doesn't <laughs> doesn't like it that long, unfortunately. Yeah, <laughs> so we're going to cut it and um, finish it off. Right. So we've cut it all in now. So I'm just going to dry it off. So it'll be a bit louder. So we're just going to dry it off a little bit. And I've got some product in, and then we'll show you the finished product. So we'll see you in a few minutes. So there we go. That's the finished product. As you can see, hairline looking dapper. I'll show you around if I don't walk into the shelves. It's a bit tight in here sometimes. There we go, all sorted. Looking good.